Hello, I'm Dr. Nandita Shah. Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Barnard. And today we want to show you how healthy Indian food can be. We're going to show you a few Indian dishes. And uh, Indian food is really, really healthy with all the lentils and vegetables and grains. But sometimes there's a little bit too much oil and dairy products. And if we can cook without those, the benefits are we're going to lose weight, our cholesterol level is going to come down, diabetes is going to get better. It's really going to be great all the way around. Where do we get started? We're going to start with chai because most Indian mo Indians start the morning with chai and sometimes it's hard to cut out the milk in chai. So we're going to show you a really good recipe for chai without any cow's milk. So here I have one third cup water and two thirds cup of soy milk. And it can be just regular soy milk or it could also be vanilla flavored soy milk. Both of them taste really nice in chai. And I'm going to put them in this pot and get it to start boiling. And I'm going to add these tea leaves in as well. So the tea leaves go directly in? Yes, okay. they actually boil in with the milk and the water. Okay. And some ginger just to flavor it. And the good thing about this ginger and these mint leaves is that it gives a really nice flavor to the chai, but it also takes out the flavor of soy milk because some people find it a little bit different from cow's milk. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put in these mint leaves and then just a couple of pods of cardamom. And we leave all this and bring it to a boil. Let's put it on high now. So, And then we just wait for it to boil a little bit and bring in all the flavors into the milk and, um, and then we're going to strain it into this cup. You know, I have to say this is one of the biggest questions I get is how can I have tea without milk? And I think you're solving a big problem. I think that's done. Let's have a look. Oh yes. You can see that it's boiling really well. And this kind of bringing it to boil like this gets all the flavors of the um, cardamom and the tea leaves and the mint leaves into the milk and water and then we're going to strain it out into a cup and have it ready to serve. Usually Indians like to have sugar in their tea. But this tastes really good without any sugar. And if you do need a little bit of sweetener, maybe you could use agave. Great. Lovely. Let's have a taste. Okay. So here's our tea. And this tea is without any sugar, but it tastes really good without sugar. Would you like to try some? Sure. Can you smell it? I can smell it. I'd love to. Give it a taste. Watch out, it's hot. It's all right. I'm well insured. <laughs> Delicious. Beautiful. So there you have it. You can have chai tea without milk. Healthier. And tastier too. Great. Beautiful. Thank you.